Over the past century, Africa has been plagued by civil wars that have resulted in millions of deaths and displaced populations. From Rwanda to Somalia, these conflicts have left a trail of destruction that continues to shape the political and social landscape of the continent. In this video, we'll be exploring the top 9 African civil wars, examining their causes, impacts, and legacies. From the brutal civil war in Sudan to the ongoing conflict in the Somalia, we'll be taking a closer look at these devastating conflicts and the toll they have taken on African communities. So, buckle up and join us on this journey through some of the most tumultuous periods in African history. The Rwandan genocide was a mass killing campaign that occurred in Rwanda in 1994. It was a culmination of long-standing tensions between the Tutsi minority and the Hutu majority in the country, fueled by political and socio-economic factors, as well as ethnic divisions that had been exploited by colonial powers. The genocide began on April 7, 1994, after the assassination of Rwandan President Juvenal Habyarimana, a Hutu, in a plane crash. The Hutu-led government, military, and militia groups launched a systematic campaign to exterminate the Tutsi population, as well as moderate Hutus who opposed the genocide. The killing was carried out with machetes, firearms, and other weapons, and was characterized by extreme brutality, with victims often being tortured and mutilated. Over the course of approximately 100 days, an estimated 800,000 people were killed, with the majority of victims being Tutsis. The international community failed to intervene effectively to stop the killing, despite warnings and appeals from human rights groups and some Rwandan officials. Finally, in July 1994, the Rwandan Patriotic Front, a Tutsi-led rebel group, defeated the Hutu-led government and ended the genocide. The aftermath of the genocide was marked by profound trauma and ongoing political and social upheaval. Hundreds of thousands of people fled the country, and many others were displaced within Rwanda. The RPF established a new government, but its rule has been controversial, with critics accusing it of authoritarianism and repression of political opposition. In addition, efforts to bring perpetrators to justice have been slow and incomplete, with many responsible for the genocide still at large. The legacy of the genocide continues to shape Rwandan society and international efforts to prevent mass atrocities. The Second Congo War, also known as the Great War of Africa, was a conflict that occurred in the Democratic Republic of Congo from 1998 to 2003. The war involved multiple armed groups, including the Congolese government, Rwandan and Ugandan-backed rebel groups, and various other militias and foreign forces. The conflict had its roots in the aftermath of the Rwandan genocide, when Hutu extremists responsible for the killing fled into the DRC and formed militias to launch attacks against Tutsi civilians in eastern Congo. This prompted Rwandan and Ugandan forces to intervene, ostensibly to protect their borders and pursue the militias. However, both countries also sought to exploit Congo's natural resources and exert influence over its government. The war was marked by extreme violence and widespread human rights abuses, including mass killings, rape, and the use of child soldiers. An estimated 5.4 million people died as a result of the conflict, making it the deadliest conflict since World War II. The war officially ended in 2003 with the signing of the Sun City Agreement, which established a transitional government and called for the disarmament of rebel groups. However, violence and instability continued in many parts of the country, and the DRC remains one of the world's most conflict-affected and resource-rich countries, with ongoing tensions between various armed groups and the government. The aftermath of the war also contributed to the ongoing humanitarian crisis in the region, including displacement, poverty, and limited access to basic services such as health care and education. The Somali Civil War is an ongoing conflict that began in 1991 following the collapse of the country's military government. The war has involved various armed groups, militias, and foreign forces, and has resulted in widespread violence, displacement, and humanitarian suffering. The conflict began when armed opposition groups rose up against the government of Syed Bar, who had been in power since 1969. After Bar's overthrow, Somalia descended into a state of lawlessness and violence as various clans and armed groups vied for power and resources. 
The war has also been fueled by regional and international interests, with neighboring countries and outside powers backing different factions. The conflict has been characterized by extreme violence and human rights abuses, including mass killings, torture, rape, and the use of child soldiers. An estimated 500,000 people have died as a result of the war, and millions have been displaced within Somalia or forced to flee as refugees. Efforts to resolve the conflict have been ongoing, but have been hampered by the complexity of the conflict and the involvement of multiple armed groups with competing interests. The United Nations and other international organizations have played a role in providing humanitarian aid and supporting political processes, but progress has been slow and the conflict continues to affect the country and the wider region. In recent years, there have been some signs of progress, with the formation of a new government in 2017 and ongoing efforts to strengthen security and rebuild infrastructure. However, the conflict remains unresolved, with ongoing violence and instability in many parts of the country. The Sudanese civil wars refer to a series of conflicts that occurred in Sudan between 1955 and 2005. The wars were marked by political, ethnic, and religious divisions, and resulted in widespread violence, displacement, and humanitarian suffering. The First Sudanese Civil War began in 1955, shortly before the country gained independence from Britain. The conflict arose from tensions between the Arab-dominated government in the north and the non-Arab populations in the south, who sought greater autonomy and rights. The war lasted until 1972, when a peace agreement was signed that granted the South a degree of autonomy. The Second Sudanese Civil War began in 1983 when the government in Khartoum imposed Islamic law on the entire country, including the predominantly Christian and animist South. The war was fought between the government forces and the Sudan People's Liberation Army, a rebel group composed mainly of Southern Sudanese. The conflict was marked by extreme violence, including ethnic cleansing, mass killings, and displacement. An estimated 2 million people died as a result of the war, and millions more were displaced. The conflict finally came to an end in 2005 with the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, which granted the South a degree of autonomy and a path to secession. In 2011, South Sudan became an independent country, but the new nation has been plagued by its own political and ethnic divisions, as well as ongoing conflict with the government in Khartoum. In addition to the civil wars, Sudan has also faced ongoing conflict in the Darfur region, where government forces and militias have been accused of genocide and other atrocities against non-Arab populations. The conflict in Darfur began in 2003 and has resulted in an estimated 300,000 deaths and the displacement of millions of people. The conflict continues to affect the region today, despite ongoing peace negotiations and international efforts to bring the parties to the table. The Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War, was a conflict that occurred in Nigeria from 1967 to 1970. The war was fought between the Nigerian government, led by General Yakubu Gowan, and the secessionist state of Biafra, which was led by Colonel Odumagu Ojekwu. The conflict was sparked by ethnic and political divisions in Nigeria, with the Igbo people, who formed the majority in the southeastern region of the country, feeling marginalized and oppressed by the federal government. In May 1967, the region declared independence as the Republic of Biafra, triggering a military response from the Nigerian government. The war was marked by extreme violence, including mass killings, famine, and disease. The Nigerian government imposed a naval blockade on Biafra, which led to widespread food shortages and starvation. An estimated 1 to 3 million people, mostly civilians, died as a result of the conflict. The war ended in January 1970, when Biafra surrendered and was reintegrated into Nigeria. The conflict had lasting effects on the country, with continued political and economic marginalization of the Igbo people and ongoing tensions between different ethnic groups in Nigeria. Efforts have been made in recent years to address the lingering effects of the conflict, including the establishment of a national war museum and the payment of pensions to former Biafran soldiers. However, the wounds of the war remain raw for many Nigerians, and the country continues to struggle with issues of ethnic and political identity in the country. 
As we've seen, African civil wars have had a profound impact on the continent, causing immeasurable suffering and disrupting the lives of millions of people. But despite the many challenges they face, African communities have shown remarkable resilience and determination to rebuild and create a better future. As we reflect on the top nine African civil wars, let us remember the lessons they have taught us about the importance of peace, justice, and human dignity. And let us continue to work together to create a world where conflict and violence are a thing of the past. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we hope to see you again soon.